My name is uh, Pastor Joshua Jijonu. Uh, I am an uncle to the late Koku. Koku has been such a wonderful person uh, from childhood. He was so jovial, but very much reserved. And uh, Koku has been a pillar of this family. And uh, we are all hoping that in the years to come, Koku will have lifted this family to a level that all of us might be expecting. But unfortunately, we don't know what God has for us. And the uh, unexpected happens. Uh, but we are trusting God that uh, during this time, you see us through. Uh, Koko has gotten names like uh, the young. That was when he was uh, a young boy living with the grandmother at Asarama. And then one day they went to the market to buy things, and uh, he was at the back of the grandmother, hitting the grandmother at the back of the armchair to buy the young. The young, and nobody knew what the young was all about. So when the grandmother asked him, so the young is Yevubolo, that is bread. <laughs> so from that day we started calling Koku Koku the young. I was also called Koku Akpanogu because it's a, even though as young as he was, he could dance, he could beat all the drums that he can lay his hands on. So Koku has been a wonderful person and everybody loves him in the family and even at the village at Sarame. His schoolmates and everybody loves him. And when the news broke out, I think it was like a pandemonium in the village and everybody was like, what am I gonna happen? But like I said, uh, we don't have the final say. God is the ultimate, and he knows what is good for us. Uh, when he was sick, we were praying, praying. I don't know the prayer we have never offered. But what is good for God, that is what he has done for us. So who are we to say where should Koku go at this time? Uh, this is his mother, but uh, we cannot speak with the mother. Uh, but this is his lovely mom. Uh, he was always proud of his mom, always telling us about his mom, uh, go and visit my mom and all that. Uh, but she's not in the state of mind to speak with us now. So we'll speak with the immediate younger brother, uh, Fusalo, here. Uh, Fusalo, tell us about your older brother. Last year, uh, we were all here to bury your father, and he was so strong and all that. Tell us. How do you feel about all this? How did the news get to you? Um, thank you. It's a, a very, very devastating news because, uh, like you said, after my father passed on two years ago, uh, everything has been handed over to Elvis, my brother, who is our spiritual leader, our everything, everything. He's, um, he called himself a, a problem solver. So whenever there is an issue, my mom always says, wait, Koku will come. Once Koku comes, there's a solution to the problem. So, uh, a very, very devastating news. Uh, but we thank God for giving him to us. Uh, as kids, I was very, very close. He was not just my brother. We were friends as well. He's, uh, he loves sports. He loves music. Uh, he was a great... Uh, actor as well, people don't know that he, he, after church he will come home and imitate everybody's dance at church uh, he likes to tease yeah, and uh, growing up when he decided to enter journalism, those of us who knew him were not surprised at all because uh, my late dad was uh, an English tutor and Elvis picked it up, English from you know, childhood, he was always correcting you Anything you say, he says, that's not how to say it. And then he will correct you. He corrects even my dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So becoming an editor and all that, I was not surprised at all. I, it's just sad. He will have to correct me now because I find it extremely difficult to refer to him in the past. I can't, I don't know how. So, uh, so we are thanking God. We, are, we thank God for everything. Okay, thank you. For Salom is devastated, the whole family, and he's finding it very difficult to refer to him in the past tense. Yeah, so right now, 
his beautiful niece is here. She wrote a very nice poem for the uncle. Uh, earlier, she told us that they were best friends. She and the uncle were best friends. What's your name? Chris Awezui. Okay, so can you read what you wrote here for Uncle Koku? All the things that I see deep down inside. The feeling I feel for Uncle Koku is the biggest. It makes me cry. He is going to God. We'll miss him. We'll miss him. He's been an inspiration. He's been an amazing big brother. He's always there to listen and we'll miss him. Sure. But God knows best, so. This event, it is very, very unfortunate for me to be here to tell him, to tell something about uh, Fukoku Elvis, because it was the last time that uh, they called me and told me about his illness, and we supported him in prayers. In fact, we were thinking that he would just recover and then join us, but unfortunately, only the, the death was unannounced. Mr. Elvis Kwashi personally took me to multimedia some 11 years ago. And most of us will be internally grateful to him for training us, recruiting us, and making sure that we are what we are today. He'll forever be remembered. He'll forever be cherished. My name is Ivy Satoji for Joy News. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on.